We got a real interesting one today called Caspa. Maybe it's not that interesting, but it actually does break the, the cardinal sin of every Team Fortress Capture the Flag map I've ever played. Um, probably mostly just the official ones, but because I'm not sure, but I'm not even sure I've seen uh, like you know map authors do this with their Capture the Flag maps. It's asymmetrical. Aghast. You, you did it. You, that's like, you know, every single Team Fortress map, like Capture the Flag map ever is symmetrical, except this one. It's such an anomaly. It is such an anomaly. Um, besides that, another anomaly is I actually know some of the crew that actually worked on this map. Uh, the map design itself was by someone named David Johnston. And then the actual like texture work and stuff was someone J named James Storey. You know, how, how often does that happen with the Team Fortress Classic map? And the final odd thing is that this map does not work in the latest version of Foxbot. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll show it off in action a little, a little bit later, but for some reason the bots are just, they don't, they don't work. So we're using a slightly older version of Foxbox for the cast pod video here. Um, 0 0.793 versus the 8.00, which is what I've been using normally. Uh, yeah, it, it's a map and it's a good one actually. Speaking of the actual map itself, um, I'm pretty fond of it, even if it, to be completely honest, I've never played this on a map server before, actually. Or map server. Pfft. Like, you know, online with, like, real people. It just, it kind of is. So my experience with it is entirely with bots. Uh, yeah. So this is a good uh, 12v12 map. Uh, this central area is just a little bit too cramped with 32 people. I, like, you know, in some maps I give some leeway saying, yeah, you might want to try it with 32 anyway. No, it just, it just becomes a cluster of ass if you try to play it with 32. So anyway, uh, I have to show off both sides of the map this time. Because I'm not kidding, it is asymmetrical. So let's start with red. And I'll actually play both sides too, because why not? Um, so anyway, uh, here is the red uh, spawn. I really do like how this map looks, by the way. Um, it's not super unique like um, Avante was. But it just got that charming like daytime lighting and you know good texture work that you kind of come to... I've repeatedly come to mention in these, like, Team Fortress Classic videos. So, anyway, you get grenade. You can actually get grenades in the spawn point here. So here's the red spawn point, obviously, or the resupply, whatever you want to call it. So even though this is asymmetrical, there are some similarities between them, um, as you'll see as I go over them. So if you're red, uh, here's your, you, got, you have your capture point this way. Um, after, like, you know, all these, like, long-ass hallways and stuff like that. Not sure why. Anyway, um, your capture point is over here. Um, obviously, you got this little tunnel here. You want to get this defended ASAP with a sentry or a heavy weapons guy or something. I don't need to really tell you that too much. And your capture area is over here. Um, which, but there's also a few alternate ways to go. Um, also, here's a little thing if you want to build a sentry here. This is a really good spot. Um, if you're def um, attacking, you want to be primarily trying to go this way. Because if you're trying to go, like, just straight up this way, there's a very good chance you're going to end up getting yourself killed. Um, but even then, I can see if you're good with, like, ju your conquer rocket jumps, you might be able to make it through just fine. Uh, but if you're also, if you're defending, you want to build your sentry here. Uh, that's a very good spot. So let's start going on towards the actual battlements, if you will. Also, as you can see, you can climb up this way uh, if you're defending so you can build some, like, you know, either, like, you know, block this, um, I'd block this off immediately because, you know, this is another way for the def like, attackers to get in. Uh, they can also come up through the windows, or you can even be sniping up here if that's what you're uh, more into, whatever you want to do. Going this way, this is, like, kind of the back alley that leads from the bad main area to the red side. Don't want to ever forget about it. Make sure this is secure. And, yeah, here's the main area. If you were from, like, the main entranceway here, this is suicide. This is actual suicide. I don't think I've ever, ever, mostly with bots, but I don't think I've ever been successfully able to come through here and actually capture anything. This is, like, the fulfilling the role of the bridge on 2 Fort. It is just busy work for, like, the main attack classes, but you need to be blocking it anyway, because if you don't, well, they're going to capture your shit, and you don't want that. So... Here's what the main area kind of looks like. You got some, like, you know, areas, places to hide. Uh, this is a little fun area because if you could somehow get a sentry gun going here, you basically cock block the team for a good, like, until they've, like, you know, managed to destroy that. We'll talk about the blue side in a second, but first we're going to come back this way. We'll talk about this building here because this is a great building for both teams. 
like, regardless of side, there's a lot of mischief that goes on in these buildings. Because you're gonna find yourself building a lot of teleports and dispensers and just things in general. Regardless of what side of the bridge you're on. So obviously this is the red side. As you can see, blue teams actually managed to build a teleporter. I'd imagine this would be pretty easy to do even with real people. So totally keep this in mind. Make sure it's well guarded at all times. And obviously the bridge can be fun too to be a demo man and, you know, shuck some grenades or just like... If you really want to play like heavy weapons guy or engineer up here. And like, you know, just have a sentry gun or like your minigun going. You go right for it. So this leads us to the blue side. As you can see with the blue side, and what I mean, like, it's weird because it's asymmetrical. Blue can't get into this building from their base as easily, or rather from the main area like the blue team can. Instead, a blue team gets into it from kind of inside their base, which is a little bit of an odd advantage because I feel like it, the red team is going to have a bit easier time getting into this building, which sounds weird because it's like, well, blue team's things right here. What do you mean? Like, shouldn't that be easier? But no, because they actually have to be kind of in the battlements. It's hard to describe what I'm trying to throw down here. And this is only from my experience with the bots. But I've always noticed as like playing a lot of times with the red team, the red team would hold this building a lot longer than the blue team. Not even considering the blue team side is kind of smaller as it is. Like here, we're already at their kind of main base. So that's the thing as you can see with the blue team, they also got the long hallway the corridor. Um, I feel it's a little, you can actually kind of sort of get up to this point as the red team. And like, you know, maybe even try to hold down a fortification or something with the teleporter and sentry gun. But again, you're not realistically going to be capturing the flag by coming through this way. No, you're going to be coming up that way. And just like that, you have a couple options. They have the window area again. Although the, this one's vertical instead of horizontal, as you can see here. A little bit interesting. You're also going to be coming this way. And this is the way I always come to. You obviously want to be trying to conk jump your way over here and get to, like, one of these two... To this area over here, because that leads to the, um... Um... Blue's equivalent of that little corridor I brought up here. And see, this is where the maps are identical. They have pretty much identical capture points. And the ethos of, like, the area leading up to... Like, with the crate... Like, this, like, kind of main area here of the base is similar with, like, stack crates and, like, you know, being able to get back up if you need it. Um, it's just, it's different, because this is where the respawn point, or the spawn point for the blue team is. You still, much like the red team, you actually have to, like, you know, walk a ways in order to get to it. But, you know, overall, it's a similar length of time, but this one's far more bendy. Not that that makes a real difference, but it's just weird like that, you know? And, like, you come and turn right here. And this is, the blue team side is really good with snipers, in my opinion. Blue team has the advantage when it comes to defending sniping, you know? And even defending Happy Weapons guy. But I feel red's got the advantage of attacking. Um, and yeah, here's the other little... Their, their capture point's over here. And it leads... Their capture point is actually more attached to their uh, uh, flag area, interestingly. I feel there's a little bit more segregation um, between the two. Well, I say that. That was a weird thing. I actually said the wrong thing. What I meant to say was... Because their capture point is the flag. I feel like it's not as removed from their spawn point as red's is. There's just a lot of really weird little quirks here. And it's really hard to describe. And I'm flubbing this up because I'm not used to talking about a capture the flag map that's uh, like asymmetrical like this. But here you go. Here's one example. It is what it is. And it's the only official Team Fortress map that I know of. Because I haven't... Like, I stopped playing Team Fortress 2 circa like 2013-14. So I don't know if they've added in any capture the flag maps in TF2 to be asymmetrical like this. But it's just weird. It feels like, you know, it's like it's kind of like, you know, dirty. Like I'm looking at porno when I'm 14, you know? It's just bizarre. Yeah, see, this is what happens when you play this map on the most recent version of Foxbox. They just, they will not go any farther than that right there. They just all hang around. And the same equivalent with the red team. Like they'll start going out there and then they'll just stand there and then they'll come right the fuck back or they'll just start spinning. I, I don't understand. The waypoint files are both the same. Like, they both are were made, like, you know, regardless of download, version is like 0 0.793 or whatever, the one that works is from 21. Or, like, you know, late 2020. And then this one, like, the 0 0.8 is from, like, 2021, right? But, like, you know, the waypoint file on both of them is from, like, earlier 2020. It's the exact same waypoint file. So what happened? Why is this happening? Like, it goes with the red team, too. I'll spectate real quick. See? Let me just... 
Yeah, see, just the exact same thing. Maybe they can't handle the uh, asymmetricalnessness of the map or something. I know I actually can. That's why I'm not a bot. And no, I'm not going to make the obvious song joke here. It's That's low-hanging fruit, and I'm better than that. So yeah, first, this is obviously... If you could tell, we're doing blue attacking red. I will also do red attacking blue, because, you know... There are some differences in how you play both of them. That, you know... You know, I'm going to feel the need to show off both of them, so... Well, that was a failure of a nail drop, I, or nail throw, I apologize. Now, the thing about this map is that on first analysis, I've always felt it looked really like, you know, like one of those maps where no one's ever going to actually win or, like, you know, capture the flag or anything. It'd be a Rock 2 situation, but no, this map is actually surprisingly malleable in the sense of, like, you know, matches actually, like, things actually happen. Flags actually get captured. That might be shocking to some people, but, you know... Or it might be appear shocking at first, but you'd be really surprised. Oh, fuck! I fall for that every single time! I've played this map enough to know that the engineer bot's like building the sentries there. But yet, like clockwork, I'm like, oh, but they're, but they're, I'm gonna get the flag. Oh, no! My shoes have been undone. Oh, my God! This, like, bridge is the worst enemy of my, like, freaking. Nail bombs, goodness gracious. Okay, guys, I think we have enough scouts and medics on the team. Holy frick. See? See, the bots are even doing it, too. They're building stuff. I would have built a teleport a sentry there first, but yeah. If the bots know to start trying to get stuff built there to mess with the other team, then, you know, you know, surely someone in real life's got to do that. I mean, again, I've never... Maybe once I've played this map with real people... I couldn't tell you, but it was always, you know, me building in the center there, but that was the first time, I swear to God, I've ever seen the bots do that too. So I clearly, like, you know, that has to be at least a somewhat decent idea. Or maybe I'm just not as smart as a bot, I don't know. Or as smart as one, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm praying that they haven't built another century, good. You see, so you gotta be paying attention on the red side. Because you can see there, it's so wide that someone can easily slip by if you don't know what they're doing. Yeah! Now see, the secret is, if you're um, playing soldier, you gotta take advantage of the fact that you could rocket jump back out. I mean, you can cock jump in too, but you know what I mean. Any class I could vertically get the hell out of there. Uh, that didn't go well, because I forgot... I forgot that the entranceway is far, far more in, in the red side. Or, like, you know, on this side. On the blue side, it's, like, immediately there from the one entrance, you know? Or, I'm sorry, I'm getting my kid colors confused. I don't know. On the red side, it's wide enough that, you know, you can't easily jump back out. But, you know, at the same time, it's easier for, I feel, the player to be, like, the one grabbing the flag to get less overwhelmed because it's, like, more distance for the attacking team to go, or defending team to go. Whereas the blue side, as you can see here, it's a lot more condensed vertically. So you can actually go... Grab the flag and then get a rocket jump up there and just be on your way. I'm gonna do that now too because I gotta grab the flag. Yeah, go, my friend. I don't know why you insisted on jumping down to get your ass killed, stupid. Yeah, heal me, boy. I'm calling you, asshole. Fuck you. Actually, this, ma this is a good map to play right now in the summer here because we're going through a pretty warm summer, all things considered. Really nice. We had a really terrible win winter in the part of the world I live in. So, you know, have it be like being actually plus 30 right now is a freaking blessing. Again, it reminds me of last year when I was doing these maps the first time. We added that heat wave. I brought that up before. But now it's like the same, day, like almost like, you know, approaching that. I, I, I ain't even complaining. It's just so nice. And this map is nice and hot looking. It just gets me in that mood, you know? Really, a lot of maps in this game are hot looking too, but you know, playing this right now in such warm weather, it's just getting me thinking. It's got me feel certain ways, you know? I can't do it. I don't know. I insist, fucking insist on trying to throw a nail bomb every single time I pass through that bridge, and it just never works. Without fail! And yeah, I keep doing it because I'm a freaking charlatan apparently. And also, too, that demo man, like, was all over the place. 
He was like made of rubber, like he was a like rubber ball or something. Holy shit. What are you doing? That had to have been the same demo, man. That guy is just all over the place. He's like a ball of sugar high on cocaine. Goodness gracious. These engineers are freaking nuts when it comes to building their, their teleporters. I just destroyed one, as you saw there. And they're already thinking to go and get, build another one. If they were smart, they would be able to build a sentry too. That's what I would do. Well, looks like I gotta get my ass up here because it's becoming a real infestation. No! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Yeah, go get shot by my teammates. Why did you throw the grenade backwards? You see that? I mean, I'm almost dead, but he threw it away from me. You think he would have thrown the grenade away, like, towards me? That might maximize the ability of damage you're going to be doing to me. In fact, it might have damaged me at all. Silly. Well, I don't have much HP, so I'm just going to kamikaze real quick. Oh my god! I think they've done it again! And, like, none of the engineers on my team, if we even have it. We don't even have engineers on my team. Oh my god! Like, no wonder I'm going to, like, like, you know, they're always right on our tails. And that's the thing about this map. If you're able to, like, you know, successfully, like, you know, choke point, like, you know, here or in the, one of the buildings there with, like, the and sentry or, like, teleporter or something, it's just amazing how much, more, like, pressure you can put on the enemy team. I mean, that demo man, like, you know, as much as I'm making fun of his, like, you know, elastic tendencies, he seems to be the only one actually, like, doing anything. Like, actually coming into the base and trying to grab the flag. It's weird. I hear it. I hear the teleporter. I can hear it from like a fucking mile away. They're just... Oh! It's like, that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna start going slowly insane. I'll be in a mental asylum just like, you know, freaking about, like, you know, about imaginary teleporters all day long. Holy jimmicky jillikers. Well, time to cross over to the red side. You know, a lot of these later maps, like, you know, this particular kind of batch of maps around this time, I, I feel like they dropped kind of like the, um, well, specifically this, like, you know, these set of three maps, Avanti, Caspa, and Flagrun. None of them take advantage, particular advantage of the demo man's ability to use debt packs, I've noticed. Like, you had in the previous kind of, like, you know, update, you had Warpath, at the very least. Uh, Dust Bowl, I think, as well. But they kind of, for these, like, three maps, they kind of forgot about it. But then in Ravelin, the final map they added, there's totally use for the, um... Like, you know, the, uh, debt pack. So that's weird. I don't even know why I'm making this connection. See, this side favors the red team getting, uh, like, you know... This map actually, just in general, really favors the red side in terms of alternate ways to get out of your base and into. But I feel the blue team has an easier time actually defending once the enemy's in the base. So the red team can get to the uh, blue to base really easy. And they can, like, find ways to keep the pressure on easier. But then, um, the blue side, like, you know, good luck actually breaking into the base compared to the red side is what I'm kind of trying to say there. It's, uh, it's uh, that's how the balancing of this map looks to me anyway. Let me see, is this going to take me to where I think it is? Yeah, pretty much. They always do this. They, they, I don't know what it is about red engineers that are just building teleporters in this building. Or, I guess, more so... Blue engineers is not existing. Maybe the like the Foxbot will actually think to do that. I don't know. Maybe not. No, he's there. Oh my god. Did you see that? He like noticed me and he like entered into activation mode or something. Scary. Okay, I gotta go. I think I killed him. Oh, of course he's gonna be a heavy weapons guy. Just run, idiot! Stupid guy! I've had sentries built up here just immediately in my face. Yep. Called it. I'm totally. This takes a little bit of while. If you're trying to. Red trying to capture blue, you might not make it out in the first few tries. It's just one of those things where you just gotta keep the pressure on. You gotta keep going over there and just keep, make sure that the flag's constantly hot at all times. Doesn't matter. I mean, even if you gotta switch a scout to do it or get your scouts to go do it, that's the only real way that the red team can get blue's flag. Not that red can't, like, you know, like, you know, it has it easy, uh, or not that, or blue has it easy capturing red's flag, but you know what I mean. It's just difference in how the bases are built. Okay, go! Stupid! Suckers! Go! At least if I get it up here. 
Yeah, once you're through here, it's fine. You basically got it unless a blue team just goes like, you know, freaking like ape shit. But, you know, you're basically fine once you're over here. Did... Did you shoot me? Why would you do that? What's your problem? You just sapped all my armor. Not that it really matters because I'm about to get it all back anyway. But still, that was rude. Uncalled for. Again! Fuck off. Kenny! Stop! 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 Oh, and he still had his freaking sentry built. I got it dealt with. Never mind. You know, I almost was walking back what I said about this bait, like, you know, the blue base being really easy to defend. It's not, it isn't, it's just these bots just can't coordinate. You should have at least two sentries in that courtyard at all times. And then once you do that and you have a happy weapons guy, you're basically, unless your red team's like elite, you're basically screwed. I mean, red team's basically screwed, sorry. What was on the ground? Did you find a penny? Yeah, who's got it? You got this, bro. You know, it's teamwork. I'll, I'll share the glory with you. I got it halfway. You're taking it the other way. We have been completed. Assu assuming you don't die or do something stupid. Because now I can't trust the bots ever with capturing the flag. That was a sick little grenade throw there. No, really. I'm assuming that's why everyone's going over to get, have to give them, like, you know... A victory cake or something. There you go. Awesome. Medic. I am in front of you in severe pain! You hate it! And see, now they're doing it. See, they took that idea we had from the other time and they're trying to apply it. I guess I have the best ideas of all time if Foxbot decides that it's good enough. You see, even blue team's starting to figure out the merits of building teleporters. Alright. Oh, can it, one of these get in there? <laughs> oh, God. Ah! Oh, they built the teleporter right in that little area there, I think. Hold on. Yes! I knew it! Ha! How do you like them apples? And what, not a, one of you guys could lob a grenade up there. I, I mean, I fucking failed at it, but you guys should have no excuse. Oh, uh, yeah, Caspa. Uh, despite being an absolute heretic of a map, um, I quite like it. You should give it a try sometime.